What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to say thank you for coming back for another video and supporting the channel. So we're hanging out with a couple of the snakes, just doing a little update on how everybody is doing. Everybody is alive and doing well. So we got Pop-Tart's cage open. She might venture on out. Normally she comes out over here and then goes behind and then likes to hang out behind the cage. So it's really, I don't like her adventuring out too much because she kind of goes wherever she wants to go and then once she gets back in like a little tight area, she kind of freaks out a little bit. But we'll keep an eye on her and we can kind of see her going right back over there every single time. So we have the ghost boa. This girl is beautiful. Love her colors. Love the markings and patterns on her. I would highly suggest more people getting into the ghost gene. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff involved with them and they definitely look even better with uh, IMG. But again, once you start adding IMG into anything, it is very, very pricey. So Pop-Tart is finding her way somewhere. So she doesn't go over the bag and around the side. I'll, I normally just let her kind of wander a little bit but we'll see what happens she's getting big she had a really nice meal the other day and i don't want her to go back there <laughs> so we don't want to startle her because uh the last thing we want is for her to be a little attitudinal and uh, this girl is just gorgeous very very nice temperament i've seen a, quite a few people that have greens and then when they get them as a baby and interact with them they they do very well um i mean i don't know i don't think i would buy a green anaconda that somebody owned even at a year old possibly two years old that never you know interact with them or held them because then you're gonna have to go through the whole process of training them and hoping that you can get them into a nice attitude, but all right, she might, I don't know what she's going to do. So let's check out some of these snakes. I know some of you guys are probably curious on how this girl is doing right here and keeping my eye on the anaconda over there. So this girl's been doing a lot better, but she still is kind of moody. So I normally like to use the hook just a little bit on her just so she knows that there's no food in here and there's a little bit of poop in there but we will get that cleaned out here in a little bit so she's doing really good this is where we're at right now i would say the striking is very minimal as you can see she's not hissing too much and throwing a bunch of air but I still like to be a little bit cautious with her because, uh, you know, she still has that temperament on her. So daily handling sessions with her have gone very, very well. And I would say probably within the next couple of months, I might not even need a hook, which is awesome. So VPI Aztec, female. She is very, very nice. And I want to put her somewhere where I can get some of this poop out of here. There we go. Kind of gross. And then a lot of these snakes do need water. So check out a ball python real quick. Hopefully this is staying in focus. My GoPro is dead and I'm using another camera. And this camera kind of sucks. So this is the Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied. And this guy is really, really nice looking. He is missing a scale on top of his head. That uh, seemed like from his last shed that happened, but I'll try to focus in. Really nice markings. And he should be putting in work with my other pied next year. And I'm hearing a bunch of paper rattling around. Oh, go figure, it's you wanting to go places where you're not supposed to go, like a child. 
Okay, can we just kind of hang out right here? Just a little bit. Nothing like a anaconda with a mind of her own. I don't know why she likes to go back there so much. There's nothing back there. <laughs> so, and then here's this, this lady right here. Just hanging out. I mean, it is cool to watch them move around on the floor though. With Their body movements are, are really pretty cool looking. All right, we're back. Had a little issue with the snake wandering around on the floor over there getting into stuff. But this is the IMG Motley Hypo and possible jungle, I do believe. She's getting darker. She shed out not too long ago, and I love the patterns on her. She's really, really good. And the girl under her, VPI Jungle, she is in shed. So I really don't want to mess around with her too much, but I love her patterns and her markings as well. And then we can come up here and look at a snow. This is a male snow. And all of these do need to eat soon. So we go from one extreme to the next, almost a all black snake to basically all um, white, whitish, yellowy. <laughs> but he should yellow out as an adult. Uh, I, don't, I really don't know when they change their colors. I don't know when the snows and the moon glows, but I would assume within the first year or two. And, all right, so she's over there. And then we do have the moon glow right here. With the moon glow and the snows are almost the same. They're both the anery and the albino. It's just that the moon glow has the hypo added into it so you can see the um, the bands a little bit better and then in the right lighting we can see some more pattern in the tail a little bit. So really really I mean both of those are really really pretty snakes as babies and then they definitely get a lot better as adults. So, um, let's check out another ball python. So, she just kind of wrapped up and grabbed a whole bunch of bedding. But this is the uh, Superfly Clown. So, it's the pastel um, fire and then it's clown. I don't know if it's super pastel. I forget. I forget actually what the, I think it is. I think it is a super pastel. So definitely has a fire gene, which is good because it will definitely keep its color as an adult. Since a lot of these snakes do kind of um, get a little dulled out. So we can check out over here. We just fed the banana pied in the last video. And then we'll check out these two because see she's being really, really good. And then Pop Tart over here somewhere is making a complete mess. But that's okay. She can go she can go wherever she wants. You guys can probably tell which snake is the most spoiled. So we have another pied. We have a male mahogany, which this guy is really, really awesome. A lot of pattern on him. I really don't know what the mahogany does to the pies. I know if you throw in like Enchi, they're, you know, probably lower white and then you get black pastel and then they're super high white. But this guy right here would be an awesome addition to try to breed with maybe a black pastel pied. Maybe we get a black pastel mahogany. But with those odds, I, in my luck, I highly doubt I would see any of those in my lifetime. So we have another really awesome Ball python. It's a female. So this is a fire enchi clown. So 
<clears throat> the answer she gives it the bro or the uh, reduced patterns, and then it's the clown, really nice clown pattern on the head, and then with the fire, it just brightens up, you know, the colors, and then hopefully, as an adult, it doesn't dull out. And then when you breed it, the fire could drop down into some of the babies, which makes more awesome looking babies. But again, I have so many females, I don't have that many males, but in due time, things could change. And then I know we're going on kind of a ball python uh, kick right now, but this guy is in shed getting really big. It's just a uh, banana clown. And this guy looks really, really awesome in not in shed because <laughs> again it does uh just fade their colors out when they're in shed and then he was i mean when they're babies they're so purple like tons of purple in their color with the yellow it's just a really awesome combination so he is like 400 grams i think so basically not too much longer he'll be breeder size but again i don't have any females ready for that um who do we want to look at? We can go down here a little bit. So here's a pastel clown, female, and she needs water. It's a really, really awesome. Most of these are last year's babies, 2020s. Oh, she shut out. So this is the uh, Super Mojave, which is basically a Belle or a Blue Eyed Lucy. There's a dump. There's a there's a couple uh, different variations of the Bells. But the true blue eye Lucy is a pure white with the blue eyes. So this one does have the blue eyes. It's just not pure white. It does have the, the uh, coloration down the back. And then, of course, the, uh, the color on the head. So another black pastel pied. So two of these. This one's a year old and the other one's, you know, fairly new as a baby. And this girl looks really nice. It's a lesser clown or, I'll just turn that off. Lesser clown or the butter clown, since apparently they're the exact same. Really nice patterns, love the white with the yellow and then the brown. And then she has a little heart on the top of her head. So really cool patterns on her. And you can see Pop-Tart destroying stuff over in the back corner. <laughs> And that's really, I think, it for the time. Um, and then we just have a basic with who's in shed. Just a normal pied, very, very high white pied. So I do have some options next year. Um, for possibilities. I don't have that many snakes, but, you know, trying to get a couple here and there as the years go by. Uh, and who knows what's going to happen with breeding. I mean, there's always the, the risk of it going badly and it going good. So um, that's really it. So I appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch the videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And I got to go collect her since she's knocking everything over. And oh, yay. Look at this. I mean, she needs new water anyways, but fresh poop, a big poop. And I know I tell you guys this all the time because some of you guys ask me, is it worth getting an anaconda? You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me saying this, but it is worth it. But you just have to be prepared to change out the water every single day. So it's definitely a challenge, uh, definitely time consuming. But yes, I would say it is very, very much worth it. And so on that, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next video.